Hello again YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I repaired and upgraded my daughter's lamp. She has this really nice Pegasi lamp that we've had, or she's had for oh, probably about 14 years now. Um, in fact, 2005 and it's now 2019. So yeah, 13 or 14 years. Um, it's a really nice lamp, it costs a lot of money and uh, she really likes it. Um, so it's had some problems as you can see here this is one of the problems this is a pl the plug-in power adapter and it's basically it's a 60 watt 12 volt AC power adapter and that was uh, used to drive six of these 10 watt G4 uh, halogen lamps so that was a, a fair amount of power to consume for a lamp uh, especially through one of these switches. These are really cheap uh, rocker switches. Um, you'll find them on all sorts of lamps. Um, but they're quite uh, quite cheap and quite well mass produced. And the problem with them is if you pull 60 watts through them, even at just at 12 volts, they tend to melt. And I'm just going to see if I can get inside this one and show you what's in it. As you'll see that the construction's not that solid there's an awful lot of plastic going on okay there we go so inside the switch you've got the the neutral cable just bypassed the switch and then you've got these little contacts now if I pop the switch out you see the switch is held in the switch is plastic and it's held in with two little plastic lugs and then you've got the contacts so it's pretty cheap they're mass produced um, the quality on them is okay for most things but for these, for 60 watts at 12 volts AC, it's just too much. And this lamp has had about 5 or 6 switches in its lifetime, which is quite a lot. So, I decided to get rid of that and change it to LEDs, because it consumes a lot less power. Um, but as the conversation went on, my daughter said, well, the lamp's quite bright, I'd like it to be dimmer. And there's also, I want to put it in the hall, and there's nowhere to plug it in. So what can I do about that? Can we run it off a USB? So we found a solution to do that. So in order to to fix and upgrade this lamp, uh, I did a couple of things. Changed these and I installed one of these. This is a what's oh, called a, a boost converter. That's just a, there you are, that's the unit itself. So what this does is it takes a, a voltage in, takes in a, a DC voltage, in this case coming from the USB power bank. You can then feed in between 3 and 32 volts, so USB power bank's putting out 5 volts, and it's a regulated 5 volts, so that's quite good. You can bring in a maximum 4 amps. This particular USB power bank is uh, limited to 1 amp, so that's fine, that's well within the range. The output you can have between 5 and 35 volts. So these uh, particular LEDs, um, they, they're rated for between, uh, well, they're rated for either 12 or 24 volts. But I've found that they run on quite a, a lower voltage than that. They'll start to light at about 7 volts. And you can put about 8 amps, or maximum of 8, 8 amps of load on the output. We won't be needing anywhere near that. Um, these uh, light bulbs, these LED lamps are 3 watts each. Um, so depending on the voltage that you, you apply to it, um, we'll, we'll determine the wattage, but, uh, sorry, determine the ampage, but we're going to go nowhere near 8 amps. I then replaced the switch. Um, in in uh, the case of the lamp, you probably see in the, the video at the end, uh, I put a nice uh, chrome toggle switch on there. But if you're going to repair or replace uh, your own light uh, fitting, or if you're going to make one from scratch, then 
any switch will do as long as it's rated. Uh, this one's rated at 250 volts at 5 amps, I believe. It's on the. Yeah, 250 volts. It says 3 amps, 5 amps. They quite often say that. But it's a maximum of 5 amps. Again, I'm going to be nowhere near that, but if you're going to make your own lamp, something like this little toggle switch would do nicely. On my daughter's lamp, I also included a DC jack. Now, the reason I did that was it gave her two options. It gave her the option of powering from USB or powering from a, another 12 volt plug in source uh, to give her a brighter light output. And again, you'll see that in the video at the end. We'll also need uh, a USB cable. This is the one that came with the power bank. Um, it was intact and I've cut the end off because I don't need it. And that's pretty much it. That's all I, I needed. I did add some other components. Um, I added, you'll see in the video, there's a little black hobby box. And the hobby box is just a container for this little module. That's all that's inside there. There aren't any other, any other parts. So... I'll take away this and this. Um, if you're going to upgrade a lamp, this is all you'll need. So you need a power bank and cable, a boost converter, and LED lamps. Now I'm going to show you the process I went through. When I when I built the lamp or when I when I repaired the lamp. So this little cable um, gets soldered onto this board here. So this board's got a big arrow on the back and it shows you the direction the, the power flows. Uh, so you've got in plus and minus and out plus and minus. The output doesn't really matter in this case because these, these uh, lamps are designed to work with AC or DC. So it doesn't really matter about the polarity. Um, as you can see, I've already soldered on, on this one. Uh, I'm going to use this again because uh, I've not got use for it. So I'll show you. I'll, I'll use this to show you. Okay, so I'm going to solder the input leads on. And I'm just going to solder this on roughly because this is just to show you how it's done. Normally, if I was going to leave this in somewhere I would do it nice and neatly and I would tie off the, the cables but I'm not going to so it's all going to go in the box afterwards so I'm just going to do it roughly <laughs> okay there we are, so we now have our USB power source. If I plug that in, there will now be voltage on the output. Bring in my trusty flick meter. Okay, so we've got 8.8 .8 volts on there. On the output so that should be enough that should be well within the range we need to to get a, a light output Okay, just plug this in. There we are. You got quite a reasonable output there. I just switch all these lights off. You see, that's just one LED lamp on its own. It puts out quite a bit of light. Certainly can 
wouldn't wouldn't recommend reading by it, but it's got a, a fairly decent output. Just bring these lights back on. So now that it's under load, let's have a look at the, the voltage. And again, we're at 8.82. So I'm quite happy with 8.8. .8. That's that's quite a a decent brightness, especially for a lamp that we're not uh, going to be reading by. If it's if it's for background light, um, then that's plenty. I'm just going to put a second one on here and show you that the adding another lamp doesn't necessarily dim the output. Okay, so I've got the lamp back on. If I put second lamp in, you'll see there's no difference in the brightness of the output as I take one lamp on or off. So that's now that's now a two lamp light. Um, you could just simply mount this into something and that would uh, give you a nice little decorative lamp. You could put it into something like this, into a, a jar and you get the light coming through. This was a, a jar that came from The Range, it's a shop in the UK quite like these, um, I put fairy lights in these uh, and a USB power bank because they oh, let's take the lights off again and show you what they do you get a, a nice sparkle through the light through the holes, so you can see through the holes but it's got a nice gold effect on there as well, so you can put fairy lights in there and it gives you a very nice sparkly effect ok so the important thing now is uh, to have a look at how long this is going to last or how much power it's consuming um, because if you put lots of these lamps on here um, you're going to end up with a light that doesn't last very long so I'm just going to put this little meter in line so this shows us the voltage and the power consumed let's put it around this way Okay, so the USB power bank's putting out 5.1 volts. It's a, a regulated output. It's also, I'll just reset this. At the moment, it's pulling 90 milliamps. So these two lamps together are pulling 90 or 100 milliamps. So that's not a lot. That's pretty low for that amount of light. My daughter, my daughter's lamp when it was back together, um, I think we had uh, we had it all six lamps. And we had the power turned up a little bit, and it was pulling 180 milliamps. Now this is a, a two pounds Power Geek uh, power bank from Poundland in the UK. On the packet, it claims 2,200 milliamp hour. I don't know the, the exact output, actually I had measured it at one point It's in one of my other videos, it certainly wasn't 2200 But it was pretty decent But I put this on test, so six of these lamps uh, Running at, I can't remember the exact voltage But they're probably running roughly like this uh, And six of them on one of these lasted just short of eight hours So that's pretty decent you can calculate if you know the output on the secondary side. So if you know the output, you know what the milliamp hour rating of your power bank is. So if you test it, you can calculate it by simply dividing the capacity of this by the, the power that it's pulling. So you divide two thousand two hundred by, in this case, a hundred, and that would tell you uh, how long it's going to last. So in this case, this will last a good long time. This uh, pulling 100 milliamps, this this should last probably, I would imagine, somewhere in the region of 14 or 15 hours at this per charge. And then, of course, you can just charge it up and, 
and swap it over. So if you if you want to uh, convert your own or make your own lamp and make it from LEDs, this is a good way to do it. Um, this uh, boost converter, this was available on Amazon UK, I don't know if it's still available, I, I buy these all the time and uh, they lie about for a good while. But this one was an e-boot and it was an EB2469. I buy them in packs, I think this was a pack of five. Probably cost somewhere in the region of six or seven pounds, but you can buy them individually if you want. They just tend to be a bit more expensive that way. The lamps themselves again came from Amazon, but again you can get them. You can get them uh, and up from other sources. This particular pack is a King So. They were three watts, and it's the just make sure that it's the AC DC version you get, not the DC only. And these. You can take a 12 to 24 volt input, but as you can see, it can take a lower input and it will still output a nice light. And it's the warm white. I, I don't like cold white. I prefer warm white for everything I do. But you can you can make your own lamps. Here was something else I had. This was for going inside a jar. So these were the, the little G4 connectors. And I would have had, after it's just a, an abandoned project. So I would have had four of these and a... A connector and a USB power bank inside a jar and that would have given a quite a nice light as well. I might go back to that one day, you never know. Okay, so I'll I'll show you now the the finished article. So the lamp as it is running from USB and from 12 volts DC plugged into the mains and you can see the difference. But I hope you found this useful. Um I hope you found this uh inspiring and if you manage to make your own lamp or do something nice then please post something in the comments you can put a picture show me what you made and uh, appreciate the feedback thanks for watching if you liked the video please give a, a like and a subscribe and i'll see you next time